here i will discuss about sexual reproduction if two parents of opposite sex participate along with fusion of male and female gametes that type of reproduction is known as sexual reproduction life cycle of an organism is divided into three following phases juvenile or vegetative phase reproductive phase and senescence phase animals are broadly divided into two types of breeders seasonal breeder and continuous breeder seasonal breeders breed at a particular time of the year example frog lizard birds continuous breeders reproduce throughout their lifespan of sexual maturity example cattle poultry rabbit during the reproductive phases in mammals many cyclic changes occur in their reproductive system of females non primate mammals like sheep cow rat deer dog tiger etc the cyclic changes occur during reproduction are termed as estrous cycle in primitive mammals like monkey apes humans the cyclic changes occur during reproduction are termed as menstrual cycle events of sexual reproduction events are divided into three uh, three events one is pre fertilization event syngamy and fertilization and post fertilization events pre fertilization events divided into two following parts gametogenesis and gamete transfer gametes are of two types homogametes or isogametes where gametes are not differentiated into male and female gametes example is agave eulotrix heterogametes where gametes are morphologically distinct there is gamete in humans sperm and ovum you can see the structure here isogametes in algae heterogametes in algae fucus heterogametes in homo sapiens that is human sexuality in plant homothallic or monoecious plants both male and female plants are flowers are present in the same plant body it is bisexual condition that type of plant is known as monoecious plant plants like maize cucurbita etc dioecious plant or heterothallic plant or unisexual plant when male and female flowers are present on the separate plant body there is a unisexual condition example papaya date plant same way sexuality in animal bisexual animals and unisexual animals bisexual animal both male and females female organs in same individual example earthworm sponge leech tapeworm they are known as hermaphrodite unisexual animals they have male and female organs in different individual like cockroach humans second phase i said gamete transfer most male gametes are motile female gametes are non motile both gametes are motile in cases of fungi and algae algae bryophyte pteridophyte gamete transfer takes place through water in self fertilizing plants pea etc gamete transfer is very easy but in cross fertilizing plants gamete transfer occurs by pollination now fertilization fertilization or syngamy this is a process of fusion of male and female gametes which lead to the formation of zygote zygote always diploid in lizard bird honey bee rotifer female gametes undergo into the development of offspring without fertilization that is known as parthenogenesis fertilization are of two types external fertilization internal fertilization external fertilization where fusion of gametes takes place outside the body of an organism external medium is required as water 
example bony fish frog internal fertilization fusion of gametes takes place inside the body example fungi higher animals birds mammals now post fertilization events post fertilization even occur after the zygote formation it is zygote always deployed and ensured the continuity of the race of generation after generation post fertilization events divided into embryogenesis and post fertilization events occur in the plants here mitosis occurs leading to the growth of the embryo cell undergoes into differentiation cell differentiation leads to the production of the tissues organ and organ system depending upon the development of the embryo animals can be divided into oviparous animals and viviparous animals oviparous animals animals embryo develop outside the body of the female example birds viviparous animals viviparous animals majority of the animal mammals here embryo develops inside the body of the female likewise in flowering plants post fertilization events are sepal petal stamens withered off pistil remain attached to the plant zygote develop into embryo and ovule develop into seed ovary develops into fruit pericarp is produced as the wall of the ovary now i'll give you the fill in the blanks you copy it in your exercise book